The anchor block allows your website to automatically scroll up or down to the place you choose once your website visitor clicks a specific link. Here's how you set this up. Go to Sites and either create a new landing page here or use one of the landing pages you already created. I'm going to use this landing page here because it has a lot of anchor blocks already set up. Just click Edit and here we go. We have about four anchor blocks here. Here is one. You can see it because the text is a little different and it, it has this little name under it. It says anchor section. And if you click it, you'll see the name of it. This one is home. So this goes to the home button. Probably you can have different names here and different names for the, the link, but it's easier to remember once you use the same name. So this is home. This is one, two, this is features for the features three this is for the contact and four this is for the product so what happens is when someone clicks one of these menu items they will be linked to these anchor blocks and the way you set it up is here are the menu items and you can edit them here and instead of linking them out to an external link or to a pop-up or to another landing page what you can do is link it to an anchor and since we already have four anchors set up on this page, we can choose among those four, one, two, three, four. So in this case, we chose home. In the features page, we chose feature. In the product one, we have product. And for the contact us button, the anchor is set to contact us. So let's add one more. Here are the, all the content blocks. Here are the buttons and more and other form blocks, special blocks. At the very bottom, you see the extra blocks. And here is the anchor section. Let's just put it here at the very bottom of our landing page. And let's name it end or bottom. Okay, save. Then let's go to the menu and add a new link here. Give it a name. I'm going to call it bottom two. And instead of linking it to an external site, I'm going to click anchor and choose the bottom anchor. Of course, this is probably not something you would do on your site, but this is just a demo. So let's click save. And now let's go to the preview section. And here we go. So when your subscribers click home, they'll be at the top features. They'll go to the features, products, and bottom will take them all the way to the bottom. And of course, the contact button to the contact section. Now, if you use this preview link here, you'll see the whole site without this part. And that will be probably better for you to see how easily your website visitors can move up and down the page. Once you're done, just click this X, save and update, and you're ready to go. So this is really helpful for, for even having a one page website using this landing page features or for moments where you really want to get someone's attention to something that is on your site, but a little lower down, right? So you can have a button here, for example, take my survey and have the survey a little lower down on the page. So that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.